You can see this large blob in the Caribbean. Thank you for being with me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. This is exactly what we've been talking about over the last uh, several days, if not a week now. This flare, pair of the Cayman Islands, Jamaica right here, this big blob here. Now uh, you could see it with some brighter colors, these whites telling me we have tall cloud tops, a lot of tropical rain. That is a huge concern. This is going to swing uh, toward Belize, Honduras, still parts of Nicaragua. That's why I mentioned that very high flood threat. Will this develop? I am not seeing signs of development out of this, right? There's a lot going on in the environment up above our heads. There's a little bit of wind shear, which is a good thing. Also, this area is shifting toward land. I'll always watch for any signs of development. Regardless, the biggest threat out of this will be really heavy rain. The flooding rain is going to persist where it will track that and dust moving in more surges of dust into the Caribbean. We swing out here into the Atlantic while we have some of the dust in the Eastern Caribbean. A few tropical waves out there, and yes, they are hanging together. Another one coming off the coast of Africa. As it comes off, it won't look as impressive as it marches across. Nonetheless, these tropical waves will continue to pump into the Caribbean, add moisture to the Caribbean. And as we get into next month, which we're getting closer to, we're going to see more signs of development. Here's the European model showing the development chances over the next couple of weeks. You see through the Caribbean, low chance in the Southern Caribbean, more so a possibility of flossy forming near Mexico in the eastern Pacific. I will show you that. I want to zoom down again into the southern coast of Mexico, but up through here, watching these fronts coming off the southeast of the U.S., uh, a little bit of energy could try to start to spin off the southeast coast of the U.S. I'm not seeing big signs of that, but it is a possibility, so know that I'm keeping an eye on that. Could see a little development off the coast of the Carolinas. Got you covered. Now, this time of year, usually as far as development is concerned, it's usually very quiet. Of course, a year ago, we are tracking barrel that was really starting to develop. So you can get big storms this time of year. It's just not a likelihood. Uh, July sometimes is quiet too, although we're going to start to see things ramping up. And then a big way, August, September, October, even into November with that chance of named systems. Peak of the season is, is in September uh, as the water temperatures warm up. So we have just started the hurricane season. Fortunately, no named systems right now, but unfortunately, this huge area of rain right on the edge of uh, the Cayman Islands, Grand Cayman, that's where we could pick up some showers today. Watching the dust moving in even more so, Antigua, Barbuda, Puerto Rico, uh, all the way back toward parts of Jamaica. Jamaica, uh, Cuba. Now we'll get a few scattered storms around from Jamaica north back through the Bahamas. See that little pocket of rain watching the northern Bahamas today, watching near Freeport and New Providence. Now, as we work our way into tomorrow, this big blob, if you will, swings into Central America, Yucatan Peninsula, Merida, Campeche, Cozumel, Ladyville, Hopkins back into Belize, seeing that rain, Guatemala, El Salvador, still Nicaragua on Saturday. Uh, you can see all of this moisture pumping in and then we'll watch out for some development just off the coast of Mexico, Guatemala, and El Salvador. I'll zoom down to this. Hang with me in a second. And then I want to shift to the north with some of the severe weather back toward the U.S. Now watching some of these tropical waves moving toward the Caribbean. You see on Saturday, St. Lucia, Barbados. We could get a few passing showers. And then as we go forward into Sunday, watching this area try to develop hit or miss storms elsewhere, but new tropical waves that will be moving in, right? Not seeing signs of development out of them yet. And as they move in, they could weaken a little bit. But you see Monday, this new tropical wave moves into Trinidad, for example, Grenada, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, an increased chance of rain on Monday in the southeastern Caribbean, still lots of rain in Central America. And then moving forward, still watching near the Bahamas. There's kind of a, an upper level spin, not tropical, if you will, giving that chance of rain. So again, northern Bahamas, better chance of rain. But these tropical waves will continue to march across next week. And then I'll be fine tuning what to expect in July in upcoming videos. So thank you for being part of this weather community. Here's a closer look. South coast of Mexico. Here's Guatemala. This is Monday. By Monday, this looks like it'll become flossy. Should become flossy or at least close to it on Sunday. Now here's Acapulco. Uh, uh, Zewantaneo right here, watching just how close it gets to the coast. Again, Eric rolled right to the north. This is going to be a close call. If this develops, it could scrape along the coast. Bad scenario, even if the system stays offshore, the center of it, right? 
uh, as we work our way into Monday, just huge areas of rain again working in. This would be by Tuesday. This could be a hurricane by Tuesday. You see it here, but still wrapping in. Look at Acapulco, huge bands of rain. Point being, regardless of development, south coast of Mexico got you covered. Thank you for sharing this channel across Mexico. It's been very active, watching out for significant flooding, which will be a potential. You see, here's the coast of Mexico. Most of the models keep the center just offshore, but just running really parallel to the coast, which is not a good scenario. Even if it moves, uh, it doesn't move in, it's just gonna to continue uh, to bring days and days of rain. And most of the modeling, this is just a different look, a couple days from now. So we're looking as we work our way really into Saturday and Sunday. That's when it should become a tropical storm, this blue shading here, and then the potential of it becoming a hurricane hurricane, which would be Flossie. That's the next name on the list on the eastern Pacific side. Now shifting to the north and also keep an eye on some of the rain in the Bahamas got, got our eye right here. But watching out for this old spin near the Bahamas just spinning in some showers and storms, some rain parts of New England. And there's the severe weather threat today. Could be some stronger storms again near Minnesota, Illinois, Iowa, Great Lakes region. As we work our way into tomorrow, still scattered storms pushing into the mid-Atlantic. Some of these could be severe. Watching out for some of the rain that will approach uh, New Brunswick. Uh, watching uh, Quebec for some of that rain. Montreal over toward Toronto, some rain. And then Saturday, this shifts off uh, the uh, coast, but still near New England, a high chance of rain, scattered storms as we work our way back through West Virginia, monitoring some flooding on Saturday. Then on Sunday, this just scoots off the uh, southern edge of the, uh, uh, the Atlantic region of Canada, but watching out for more scattered storms for anywhere from the Great Lakes, and even Ontario and Quebec south through the southeast U.S. There's that old little spin in through here that could trigger more storms and then we'll keep an eye next week if there's going to be any development offshore this in through here the monsoon flow kicks in again by Sunday New Mexico another chance of flooding Colorado a chance of some big storms. storms even up toward a uh, Winnipeg southern sections of Canada watching out for that storm threat now here's the dust you see that thick dust watching it near the Cayman Islands Cuba Jamaica right through the Bahamas Turks and Caicos Haiti the DR Puerto Rico British and US Virgin Islands and we have it across the Eastern Caribbean in some of our islands. Then as we go forward into the weekend, this is Sunday, the dust shifts its way right into the Gulf, even in over toward parts of Texas and Louisiana, uh, South Florida, still in the Bahamas, some dust, a new little pocket by Sunday, Antigua, Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis, not as much back behind it. And we'll watch those new tropical waves that will be approaching the Caribbean. So look at us in the Northern Bahamas, even Central Bahamas, but Northern Bahamas the next few days, we could get two to three inches of some rain with not all day rain, some passing showers and storms. So 50 to about 75 millimeters of rain. Cayman Islands are gonna be on the edge of it today. We may see some showers break free as we work our way toward Grand Cayman. Uh, Jamaica, some of us just completely dry, dealing with some windy conditions and the dust. Others getting some of those big thunderstorms. Same thing, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico. Rain chance is not too high in through here. St. Martin, St. Bart's, the rain chance is not super high because of some of that dust and overall dry air around. Same thing in Dominica. South though, some spotty showers. And I mentioned as we get into a Saturday in particular this weekend, could get a couple passing showers, St. Lucia, Barbados, and we'll keep an eye on some of these new tropical waves approaching uh, Trinidad. In Northern Guyana, we could get some spots of 75 millimeters of rain. Monitoring the flooding interior sections of Venezuela and interior sections of Colombia. Big rain totals, over 100, uh, 150 millimeters of rain over the next two days. Big rain totals totals in through here. Belize, I'm watching out for this blob that is going to move closer. That'll give some of us some flood. We'll get some flooding in some areas. We could get some totals across Belize over 100 millimeters of rain. So the rain's going to be coming at us. We've had that already in parts of Honduras and Nicaragua, Guatemala and El Salvador. That rain chance, El Salvador, the rain chance picking up Costa Rica, Panama, still scattered to widespread rain. And this in through here is what could eventually become flossy. So we'll keep an eye on the southern coast of Mexico. I'll be fine-tuning how much rain uh, we could get. Mexico City, we've had some flooding around, and then you see that monsoon flow just bringing in some of the rain. Additional rain, southern sections of New Mexico could get a couple inches of some rain. This in through here from the Carolina south, scattered areas of rain and some thunderstorms. Some of those could be severe. Could see a little spinning, a tornado action, southeast uh, uh, isolated tornado possible, southeast uh, U.S. where we could get some spots of two to even uh, four inches of some rain. 
night. So an isolated chance of a shower, but if we get a storm, it could be strong for us in uh, Jamaica. Now, as we work our way toward Grand Cayman, a better chance of rain. Little Brock, the, the rain chance is going to be a lot lower. Closer to the blob, the better chance of getting some rain in the Cayman Islands today. Most of it is just off toward the southwest. Uh, Trinidad and Tobago, we're looking at a 30% chance today. But you see on Saturday, it starts to bump up again. We're looking at a 50% chance. And you see on Barbados, those are the scattered showers that I mentioned. Same thing in St. Lucia. By Saturday, we'll see some spotty showers that will be moving in from east to west as we go through the weekend. So Grenada, rain chance eventually bumping up. Low today, though, slight chance of a shower. St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Better chance as we get into the weekend. Same thing in Martinique, 40% chance by Saturday. You see how we're mainly dry in Dominica today, a 40% chance though by Saturday. 20 to 30% chance the next few days in Guadeloupe. Rain chance back through Antigua, Barbuda, very minimal today. Some of the dust around could see a slight chance of a passing shower, very minimal chance. St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat, and that rain chance stays very low with the next few days. Anguilla, uh, St. Bart's, uh, St. Martin, Saba, State a 10, maybe 20% chance of a passing shower. Same thing in Puerto Rico. By the weekend, a better chance of a few isolated showers and storms. Rain chance staying low across the U.S. and British Virgin Islands. Meanwhile, the Bahamas, again, northern Bahamas, that's where the better chance of rain will be. Southern Bahamas will be drier back through the Turks and Caicos on the uh, drier side. Rain chance stays pretty low today across the uh, Dominican Republic. It stays low as well the next couple of days in Haiti. Meanwhile, in Belize, that blob starts to work in. Watching out for the flood threat. I'll be watching her comments. Heavier rain will be surging in. I've been giving you the heads up on that uh, for late week into the weekend. Our rain chance gets higher. Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire rain chance about 20 to 30 percent. Staying kind of low, could see a shower uh, possible. Northern Guyana, better chance of rain. About a 50% chance over the next few days in Suriname. Rain chance 40% in Cuba the next couple of days. Uh, isolated to scattered storms. Costa Rica and Panama watching out for some rain. Uh, maybe about a 70% chance around Panama, a little bit higher as so we work our way back through uh, Costa Rica. Nicaragua still watching out for areas of rain. It is starting to shift though, so the rain chance will start to go down some uh, by the weekend. Same thing as we work our way into Honduras but Nicaragua and Honduras watching out for that flood threat. And then Guatemala and El Salvador, as the blob moves into Central America, it's going to be building. The rain chance will be building. Mexico City staying very active, and that rain gets thrown into the Yucatan Peninsula, as I mentioned, from Cancun back through Campeche over toward Merida, Cozumel. Higher chance of some rain. Northern Colombia, some scattered areas of rain. Same thing in northern Venezuela, but interior sections, that's where that flood threat is going to be higher with that chance of some mudslides. Bermuda uh, generally on the dry side. So extreme areas of flooding. Parts of Central America, flossy could develop near the southern coast of Mexico, watching the southeast U.S. That's where we're going to see scattered storms, uh, but with that, off the southeast coast of the U.S., there could be a little development by next week and monitoring the dust. And of course, we've had a few more uh, earthquakes over the last uh, few days. I'll keep an eye on that. The next name storm in the Atlantic Basin is Barry. Andrea formed for uh, basically a few minutes out there uh, to the uh, northeast of Bermuda, so the next name on the list is Barry. Thank you for being part of this channel. Have a great day ahead.